<laughs> That's the first thing I see when I turn it on. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, JP Jr.? Oh, Welcome okay. to Pillage Overload. Drink hmm. more rum, drink more rum. Hashtag drink more, more rum. rum. Hey, I'm back. I'm back, too. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the CNN thing, which... She's okay. in the same place as me now. Yeah, I am in the same place. Here we room. are, Finally. together again. Um, I think that, uh, man, you are, like, encroaching past yeah. the middle again. Yeah, well... Are we going to have this fight again? <laughs> are we? Oh, my God. Uh, what's Hi. going on, Marwood? Yeah, they, Marwood, what's up, buddy? Was it Marwood who was saying what's with the CNN shit last week when we, we did the uh, StreamYard, the split screen? I think it was him. Yeah, we were... Uh, uh, like Sonny and Cher. <laughs> <laughs> we were apart last week. Yeah, I had to, uh, like I said, I had to go to Roanoke. And you know what? I know Mar was picking on me about how I should have just got my ass up early and gone down there. But that would have meant I had to be up like, at 3 o'clock in the morning, out of the house by 4, to be down there and possibly get coffee and situated before my training started at 8. That I was doing the training at 8, so, but yeah, fuck that. Las Vegas is the day! What the hell? Why is this on my car radio in the middle of nowhere, Nevada? Huh? No encroaching with split screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? And no more split screen, man. It, it was, uh... Uh, yeah. Well, next week we got, we're going to have some fun because we're going to be we're gonna be on the road next week. Yeah, next week's going to be interesting. I'm um, still trying to figure out the details on that. Uh, we're going to be having dinner with our son in Savannah. Um, and we might not do a full hour next week. We definitely will be on. But yeah. we're going to be in Savannah. So... Because we're gonna next be next week is Order of Life and Induction. Yes, Tony. we're gonna be on our way to Florida. Uh, you would have saved some more rum if you left early. I told you he made me a to go cup, and it, it, shit did good enough. Plus, Why? I had a bag, what's the point of saving rum? Plus, I, had I don't a get it. Beer when I went to dinner, I don't get it. I don't get it. We don't save rum around here, we drink it. Fuck yeah, we didn't Hello. Last night. So, um... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to situate. <laughs> Buffering. Am I too close? <laughs> Back off. Uh, buffering. More for later. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that is... And here come the dogs. Somebody wants to. Lay down. Um, we, yes, we leave Thursday. And we'll be back up this way. Uh, Monday, I think. Uh, the ceremony is Saturday. Mm -hmm. Friday is the meet and greet. Yes. Saturday is the ball where I get to wear my gown. Yes. You guys haven't seen that yet. That's not what I wore for the hashtag drink more rum. Lumpy! What up? Holy shit, dude. Welcome hey! to the show, brother. How you doing, man? I haven't seen you around a while. Yeah. Here uh, we are. Word. word. Word to your mother. To your brother. To your Bonnie, lay down. Tell your dog to lay down. Word to your crewmate. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, um, we know life, life's busy. Uh, it's, you know, how it normally goes. So, the induction, so, yeah, I made a whole gown for the induction, the ball, Saturday night. Super excited where it made him new breeches, which he's wearing now. Yeah, can't see them, but the they're OG there. In the house. Believe me, they're there. <laughs> I'm not doing the Zoom thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, kind of am, because I'm not wearing socks and shoes, but I at least got pants on. Yeah, at least you got pants on. <laughs> uh, so, so, you, so I say. So he <laughs> says. I started actually making myself a pair of breeches. Bonnie, lay down. Girl, inquisitive, you know, they say curiosity killed the cat, curiosity killed the dog. She won't lay down. So I actually started making myself breeches as well, and then I got reached out by um, somebody in the community, the pirate community. Uh, they want to have a mem mem memorial, 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 yes. memorial of uh, apparently one of the guys passed away last year from cancer and all that, and a very likable guy from what he was telling me. But they wanted to do cockades, so cockades, these. And the one that he happened to see on the website, he's like, can we get these? I'm like, all right, cool. I'm thinking maybe 30, 20 
if that. I'm not thinking a lot. Yeah, he started, he put the post out Sunday, and by Monday noon, we were at 48. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, okay, we need to cut it off at 50. <laughs> uh, a bowl of rum for the hounds. So that's, this is the yes. one I'm making for, it's the style. Um, it's got the white, uh, white ribbon outside and then the center, uh, ribbon inside is actually fabric ribbon. And this fabric is actually his, um, frock coat. Yeah. That's left, what it left was. fabric I, from my frock coat. I just turned it into a ribbon and they like it. So I had to order buttons. I had to like order 50 yards of white ribbon, which I ran out of today. And I still need to make seven more of the white ones. So I gotta go buy more. But yeah, I have to make 50, excuse me, not 55. I have to make 55 of these before next Thursday. Um, so how, yeah. How many do I have done? 20 something. Half? None. Well, none of them are done. done. Not completed. None but of them are done. done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 17 of them I have put together like this, but yeah. only the buttons. But yeah. Um, yeah. My fingers are fucking hurting. Uh, I think I stabbed. I gotta be careful too when I'm doing this that I don't stab myself with. Uh, gonna have to hire some minions. I do. I'm gonna have to. He's helping. He's he doesn't do the sewing piece help. of it, but he's been helping. Look what I can do. <laughs> I put. Him I on, did. I did put him on. The, I learned how to use the serger. Yeah, I put him the work. So there's on that. So he can get me some things done, and he's gonna help me with the buttons, but. Um, Snow cone, I don't see her ass on. Uh, yeah, my humpy, you can drink. Uh, snow cone might be. You're authorized. Getting robbed. The, the to... drinking lamp is lit. Yes. Um, I do not drink while doing these, so it's been a very. Um, well, last night I said fuck it, literally. Uh, I had a nice hangover this morning. <laughs> uh, it didn't help. We didn't eat food. That's always, not much. That's we need sad. enough. We <laughs> ate, but we didn't even <laughs> enough. There she is, Snow Coat. Hey, I'm. So you're helping me this weekend, by the way. Just so you know, you're helping me. <laughs> I got 55 crockades to put together. Get yeah. This. You will help. <laughs> so you changed that. Uh, yeah, I changed it up. So, um, yeah, the oh, Jesus fuck. <laughs> the back end wasn't looking right so i changed it around and made it look more like it actually should look the back end yeah the back end the and the wrong. handle the part i'm holding right now the monkey tail yep that's what it's called monkey, monkey tail. balls monkey tail <laughs> so the book. yeah yep. i think it looks a lot better that way crew so, agrees yes everybody agrees project Done. Oh, I'm gonna Things be. Are happening. I'm gonna be hitting you tonight if you keep fucking knocking into me with that knee. I didn't even touch you. Yeah, you did. Okay. Moving on. Stop touching me, monkey. What? Monkey butt? What? What? <laughs> monkey butt? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this he was working on that, and then we were doing a lot of. Uh, beginning of the year reorganizing that's what we end up doing um monkey balls uh yeah our office upstairs is trashed because we redid something our bedroom looks a lot better though we rearranged a little a couple things in there it looks more like an adult instead of like we just moved in Don't yeah. you hate that like what like moving into a new house or whatever and being living there for like this is the new house to us living in it for <laughs> Seven years, and you finally look like you moved in in a certain room. <laughs> yeah, we never quite figured out our entertainment yeah, situation in the bedroom. Yeah. So it was kind of just thrown together, and I was like, "Okay, it's time to fix this and make it right." So yeah. I did. Yeah, it is windy as fuck tonight. It was windy last night too. Not as bad. We had a fire going on. It's there. always windy here when it gets warm out. Well, it's like you said, it's the between seasons from winter to spring and then summer to fall. Or fall yeah, and it gets much weird here. It's Virginia. It could be 26 in the morning and 
70 degrees in the afternoon. I, I was wondering who was good. I was going to say something lumpy, but I decided not to respond. Entertainment in the bedroom, that's what you oh, said. Yeah. And I was not going to go there, but lumpy caught it. Uh, he said, duh, entertain. It's entertain now much more bedroom. entertaining in the bedroom. Fuckery at its finest. What, the <laughs> bedroom or the wind? <laughs> <laughs> I will go with either or. Uh, monkey butt. So, yeah. Fucking wind. Uh, it's supposed to be warm, at least down in Florida. So, we're, I'm looking forward to that. Yay. Yeah. We'll be uh, hitting close to 80 degrees. Yeah. While, while we're guess, there. Really I'm happy with that. Well, I don't want it too hot because I'd like to wear my damn frock coat. My new frock coat. Yeah. I don't, well, unlike you, wear you that. I don't like sweating in it. Womp womp. Womp womp. Uh, so, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, we're going to be all shits and giggles next week. I'm excited. Yeah, I cannot it's wait. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be seeing all these people. You got a new phone today. It's Wait a minute. Is this the same phone that... All right, before the one you just got today, is, were you still using the same one that got ran over? Who were we talking to? Marwood. Remember when he had that phone issue? Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Marwood, didn't you have a flip phone? You were one of those guys, yep. weren't you? He said, yeah, that was the phone that he had still, the one that got ran over. Dude, you got that, like, ran over right after we saw you. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was, like, a year and a half ago. Bonnie! The fuck you doing? She's fine. Ah, Apple or Droid? You probably got another flip ancient phone. Most likely. You got the cheapest thing you can get. I I'll wait, wait for Tinkerbell to show up and see which percentage she's at tonight. He's still got a flip phone. Still got a flip phone. You better make sure that thing has 4G because they're cutting off that 3G, man. Just be on top of it. In fact, I think they did that today. Mm, or no. Yeah, they're doing that today, I, I think. keep track of that shit. Yeah. That's 3G? Not, that's not my That's not my phone not that anybody, Can not that any of you should have that shit anymore. Yeah, but if we go back to like pirating, we won't even have to worry about that. Don't even worry about it. I don't even worry about my phone when right. we're pirating. So it's funny we were just talking about weather, and the last three weeks I have been bringing you guys the news. This date in history, it has a damn the damn, it, it is the damn thing has FM radio. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can download an app and have FM radio. On yeah, too. I haven't listened to radio. Radio and no, but as years. much as I've been driving, I need to bring my my stick in and add more music because it's playing. I'm like here 783 yeah. songs. I'm already over all of them. Really, that fast? Oh uh, well, you think about it, I drive hour and a half there and back. What you got to do is hours. take it off of of. Uh, yeah, um, just let it play one by one. That way you can go through all of them because mm -hmm. your shuffle is probably skipping a bunch. Mm -hmm. Mine does that too. I I do that every once in a while. You just take it off a shuffle and let it play back to back. Video like it, video killed it. Video, video killed the radio star. Holy shit on FM radio, you're in the future now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at you go. We are in the future. <laughs> future. It's back to the future. Future talking of the past. <laughs> uh, what was it like? Somebody predicted the. Uh, what is it? Back to the Future Two predicted. What is? What was I say? Like the end of the world. And Cubs winning the World Series. No, well, no, I'm just talking about like it was uh, 2014. No, Ghostbusters Two. I'm sorry. I was gonna say Ghostbusters Two. Predicted the end of the world February something in 2014. The only reason why I remember that is because it popped up on my time hop recently. So flying cars. Yeah, like we got five. Yeah. I'd rather go back Look to at all the there. flying cars yeah. we got. Really? <laughs> what we could sit here and say is like we are time travelers because we're back in time. I mean, they're there. They're just not everyday use. Mm -mm. It's cold on an airplane. That's all it is. So, um... February 12th to Monday, February 19th, 1704. Uh, this week history. History. 
So I've been talking about the storms that they were having up north in the last two weeks, and they've just been getting news reports in. But because the snow has been so bad, they haven't been getting all the newspapers. Well, apparently, uh, they finally got the Eastern Post. They still haven't gotten the Western Post, so that's what this is from. Uh, in Boston, the... I'm going to fuck this up again. Pis, Piscataqua? Piscataqui? <laughs> Qua? Pit, pi, Piska, <laughs> Tequa, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that river in New Hampshire, <laughs> where actually the mouth of the thing comes up to me. Hold on, you want to try to read it now? Let me. I'm good at this shit. Let me see. Where is it? I'll put the old man glasses on. Where are you Hank at? is literally shoved behind me on the couch right now, staring at you on my phone. That's funny. It's right here. A gentleman from whatever fucking you pissed on what? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's. Uh, Piscataqua. Pis, Piscataqua. Okay, we'll go with that. It is. Uh-huh. Piscataqua. We'll go with that. Uh, but yeah. I love, I love in New Hampshire for a few years. Did you find love in New Hampshire for a few years? <laughs> Won't be your spell check, man. <laughs> You're fucking blowing it now. That's like There's the nothing first, but love for New Hampshire. Uh, don't piss on tacos, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Piscataqua. Piscataqua. Piss on so, my taco. But yeah, that, that, it's a river <laughs> up in New... For fuck's sake. <laughs> Piss on my taco Piscataway. river. Piscataway. What? No. No. It's P-I-S-C-A-T-A-Q-U-A. Only people have... P-A-Q-U-A. The A is not no, long. Virginia. Come on. No, it's New... What the fuck? That's snow code. Only people in fucking Massachusetts were pronounce it that way. She's not in Massachusetts. Piscataqua. Okay. Not Piscataqua way. We'll go with that. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. So, yeah. Um, that great storm mentioned in number uh, issue number 39th, which was the 14th of January. I mean, shit, New Jersey. It's not... Whatever. Piscat- anyway. Um, <laughs> We're not going to argue this one out. Peas are long. Peas are. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I got a long P for you. Oh my god! Uh, but they um, oh apparently it caused a huge tide to rise in that river, which did very great damage there to several warehouses. Somewhere of were carried away with it. It also as also at Kittery and the island of, Isle of Shows where it carried away several of their houses and all of their fishing stages. So that storm, that nor'wester, I can't type as usual, sorry. Um, that's that nor'easter we were talking about, I think, a couple weeks ago when we started doing this. It was actually the first week when we started doing the Boston Newsletter. Fishing maybe. stages, I wonder what they mean by that. Like, I don't know, that would be Piers or docks, maybe? All I know is they were fucked. They were seriously fucked. Uh, and apparently there was this huge war. Uh, um, now, we knew the war was going on, but there was a battle over in France. Ice, please. Uh, a... Yeah, there's ice in there. Yeah, I know. It was stuck. Um, there was, they won a battle Thank over you. in uh, England somewhere. Mm. So, yeah. How about that? How about that? I know that, that was so exciting. Isn't I just think it's kind of interesting to sit here and read back about, first off, the weather. It's kind of hilarious that now it's typical. It's not nothing different. We, we know weather. North, it's north, the weather's north. fucked up all the time. Yeah, yeah, and we're not shocked anymore by oh, it. Yeah. Just ring it. Marwood says ring the bell. Just ring it. Yeah. Weathermen usually take care of us being shocked by the weather. Right, because they're fucking lying. What was the name of that river again? Piss on yourself. Piss on my taco river. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, this day in history, a little news tidbit that I think it's interesting. I've been doing a lot of reading How about that? that. Newsletters, nothing good. Um, so, but yeah, I'm ready for the warmer weather. Talk about weather. Fucking snow. No more snow. You saw your mom has snow. Your parents got snow. Yeah. Yeah, and I love how she said in that post that, like, snow's gone. Like, no, it's not. There's snow <laughs> in the yeah, picture. Yeah, that's what the white stuff is on the Yeah. 
talking about there's um, no snow, and we're looking at the picture his mom posted. I'm like, that's fucking snow. Well, what she meant was it's not three fucking feet deep now. It was 70s here in North Carolina. It was 72 today. Yeah, it was 72 here. So we did pretty good. From now on, when we can't say a word, it shall be replaced with piss on a taco. Oh, <laughs> JP Jr., a fishing stage is a wooden vernacular building typical of rough traditional buildings associated with cod fishery in Newfoundland, Newfoundland Canada. JP Jr., you are our research, research assistant. Research assistant? Research assistant. Say we're shish share. 72, and yeah, drink more rum, hashtag piss on a taco. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, we had good weather just all up and down right now. It's not supposed to, God, I fucking hope it doesn't get cold again. Yeah, it's JP Jr., you're, we, you're hired. He says Google said that. Yeah. Well, well it works because we can't You could be our it. man. So when we have questions about things. That we should know the answers of before we come on? Well, I don't know if we should have known the answer to that one, but, you know, weird things like that, you can look them up for us, buddy. That's our new hashtag. Piss on a taco. Yeah. JP Jr., got your back. Uh, That's right, buddy. Do we have anything going on this weekend? Oh, we're going to go to the 17th century fashion thing at Henrikus. Yes. Because it's going to be nice. Because our raining. friends at Henrikus are going to show us how 17th century clothing. 1600s. Uh, a little bit before our time, but hey, still kind of So pretty, blankets and curtains. Shit didn't change that much. Kershians. T-I-N, it's Kershians. Kershians? With a belt. So, so blankets and curtains with a belt back then. Yeah, well, you know. Well, my, you've seen the side, like. My waistcoat could have been curtains, you never know. Some people are into that piss on a taco thing. Wait, shut the fuck up. <laughs> really, Wade? No, uh, Marwood said some people are into that piss on a taco. Smoke's going on about the blankets and curtains. What? Where Where are you people at? He's caught. <laughs> Smoke Again, blankets. come back to us. Blankets and curtains. 17th yes. century clothing. I, That's what he's referring to. Yeah. So I guess well, we'll, we'll figure that out if it's... Uh, it's probably not. Mostly blankets. Well, not he says much, I'm in North Carolina. We're <laughs> Not much on the curtain thing. I we're, don't think. we're over there. Or over here. Over there. Over here. Here. There. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Can you hear me? I'll turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Sit on and rotate. <laughs> Get in, fucker. We're going Robin. Pillage overload. That's where we're at. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin of the Hood. Robin of the Hood. So, uh, Smoke, are we able to talk about that uh, white book or whatever the fuck it was you called me about earlier? Or I gotta be on a deal and just, I said it so everybody's be like, what the hell is she talking about? In tights. We're men, we're men in tights. <laughs> I hated that movie. Dick I Wong. never honestly watched that movie all the way through. I've probably seen, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but... What's his name, the lead in that? Or fucking ever. Who's also in Twister. Uh, what? Yeah, the lead in Men in Tights is also um, Jonas in... Uh, Jonas... The corporate kiss ass. He's just a corporate kiss ass really? man. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's wow. he's Robin Hood in men's tights. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. That's funny. Princess Bride. Yep, he's in Princess Bride too. Uh, he also did a movie with Alicia Silverstone where she stalked him. Yeah. And that psycho. Yep, girl. he was a psycho and. No, she, she was the psycho. He oh, was yeah. the one that was. She he was, was also the psycho in Kiss the Girls. Oh, that I didn't didn't know. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch he was the else. he was the guy. Still don't know what his name the is though. Yeah. All right, who is it? What's his name? Yeah, JP Junior. Or Snow Cone, because she already knows. Somebody Christmas Google Friday. that shit. Yep, Google Dick Long. Dick, really? No, it's Smoke saying Dick Long. <laughs> uh, long Dick Dong. Long Dick Dong. <laughs> ding Ding Dong Dong Dong. dong. <laughs> uh, we were watching. So what movie was that from? Really. Trivia? What? The dog's ringing the bell. 
Oh, yeah, DL that's not Dick happening. Long. That's not his name. Why do you keep going to... I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Carrie Ells? Ews? No. Ews. Ew! 16 Candles. Yeah. He's long, not in 16 Candles. Long Dick Dong was from 16 Candles. Oh, you know why I don't know that? Because I never watched it. was that. the Asian guy. Oh, okay. I, I, know, I know enough yeah. of that. How pie? Oh, how pie. Oh, okay. You asked if it had to be kept on the DL. Yes, Dick Long. Just going to put it out there. Boobies. <laughs> Automobile. What the fuck are we doing now? Here comes the boobies. Here oh. comes just the random words thrown out there. I could do that too. Jackass. <laughs> Fucker. Fuck wit. Fuck wit. Jay gets Num nuts. it. nuts. Well, I got to run, have fun, and piss on taco. Night, Lumpy. It's so good seeing you. Thanks for coming by, Lumpy. Uh, no, 16 candles. Fucking mule. Yeah. <laughs> The mule? What? That's what Sunny Boy said. Oh, Sunny Boy's even better. Better than Duck Long. God. What the fuck? If I can... I, I don't remember a whole lot from 16 Candles. Oh, I refuse to watch it. The the, I, the, the mule I, I remember from... Uh, UV, she got married. Who fucking uh, cares? Um, Who got married? What? Fucking... What movie was that? Uh, Romancing yeah, the Stone. Sunny Boy. Romancing the stone. My little mule. I'm trying to figure what everybody else is doing. Chubby chest cheeks. It's hilarious. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, boob, boobs. Okay, now I know what she's... B-E-W-B-Z. Boobs. Yeah. Boobs. Double latte. That's how you spell it when you don't want to get kicked out of her... Flabbergasters. Facebook burgers, room. Romancing the bone. Oh my god. I was about to go with the dog. It's now. my little mule. Leave them. They're fine. Okay. Uh, Unless he starts. Those totally are crying. the broken English things said by Long Duck Dong. Lunchables. Lunchables. No, this is way just rambling. Oh, now. Long duck, He's long talking about duck. boobs. Smother, Smothers Brothers. He's doing his thing where yeah, he's just going on and rambling on. Rambling bunch of bullshit. Right, he's, 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 I'll yeah, I'll go. I got it. All right. Keep going. So, Here I go. Here you go. I can't read a fucking thing on this thing because well, I ain't got my glasses just talk. on. Run your mouth. You're really my good at little that. mule. What's up, Sonny boy? Run your mouth. You're really good at that. Y'all are fucked up. Duck long. <laughs> What's with you guys in so. boobs? Go potty. The B W B S. I don't get it. Where did that start? Do, are we really this far off the track right now? Yeah. No, they're really that far off the track. <laughs> Oh, like you guys. Totally out there. Now, Squirmy and Squealer, Boobies, Liberty Bells, Snowcone, Be an Asshole, Sh Shirt, Saboteurs. Where are you at? Barnyard bo Boppers. That's why we love it here. We, we love, love it here! here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coming through? Oh, we got yeah, at, Barnyard what? Boppers is why we love it here. Uh, I can't read that upside down. It's, uh, had a 13-hour workday and can't drink because doctor tomorrow. Eww. Honey hams. He's just going to keep going. Ring, ring, ring. Ring the bell. <laughs> that one, that one he does know. <laughs> Deep purple knocking at your back door. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eggplant. <laughs> Y'all are fucked up, man. It's amazing how we go from one topic totally to, like, the other thing. Rodney, just hit! I can't read shit. Hold on. That was probably really loud. I have somewhere in my mind. Find stored food for a trip. Did pirates do any fishing or did they rely on stored? They did both. Um, <laughs> as far as uh, food was concerned, they, they packed some, but uh, some of it was gotten along the way. Um, so, yes, they fishing, did, they they fish, did do yeah. fishing. They also did grabbing. Um, clearly when they went ashore, they were going to, they tried to get, they did a little, they actually did a little bit of hunting too. Um, there were specific, there was a specific person, um, and actually one of our reenactors does this. He's called, they're called strikers. Um, 
they weren't particularly a part of the pirate community, but um, they're kind of the idea of them. And yeah, the they were they were they were hunters, later. so they would go out in the woods, shoot the pigs, the hogs, whatever, wherever they were. Debbie um, does Dallas might have been worse than romancing the bone. So yes, there were they they did both. Um, it was hard. Obviously, food storage back then was a fucking disaster. Because, you know, they packed all the meat in the barrels, so they salted everything, mm-hmm. and they didn't have refrigeration. So, you know, meat got rancid pretty quick. That's so why they, it was salted pork, dried out pork. Jerky! Yeah, jerky! Jerky! They, they basically turned it into jerky, and then when they cooked it, they tried to reanimate it, basically. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why smoke. Smoke, you're a pirate because you like jerky. Yeah. Airy so, okay. but yes, Good along job. the way, they, they did fishing and all that. Mm-hmm. Yep, for sure. That was um, a big part of... Uh, well, that's what buccaneers, the term buccaneer came from. Yeah, but buccaneer is actually that word. The French term. Yes, it was the French term for... Uh, it was a boucan. Boucan, to cook was, on and grill. Boucans were the grills. Yes, it was the grills. That That's what the uh, natives and the and called the grills that uh, the pirates would use when they were on shore. So that term morphed into them being called buccaneers. And it was it came through with the French because the French were uh, happened to be the the group of people that were there when this term came around. So it was attributed to them. Yeah, and then a lot of obviously when they were going down there and sailing. And the way they translated it. Yeah, but that's what the buccaneers were. Actually, you have pirate. Privateer, Buccaneer, and Corsair. I was actually looking at our... Yeah, pirates. the Corsairs are the African pirates in the Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Middle... And it was a term in the Middle Ages more used. Mm-hmm. It was earlier. Was. Corsairs were much earlier than... Yeah, exactly. So, Buccaneer is like the birth of barbecue. And that's what I keep joking. And again, hey, that smoke being fire. Barbecue came like... from the term barbacoa. Uh-huh. Which was also another term that was used to name a grill. Yeah. So, but yes, that's why I said he he's naturally a pirate because he loves the grill. Cook. I love to cook out, man. Yeah. Told my. That's God. what he did tonight. He grilled burgers for I did. us. I cooked out tonight. I didn't have to cook. Give me some Woo-hoo! warm. Give me some warm weather, man. I am out there on the grill. Yeah, I get freedom in the summer. I, I get, don't have to cook much. I have smoke. Smoke's the same way. We as soon as the weather turns warm. Oh, we're always over each other's will, houses yeah. grilling, partying. That's all we do drinking, is cook out. Hanging out outside, enjoying the weather. I found a drive-through barbecue place. Oh. Are you talking about like Q? Q is a drive-through. Um, but yeah, so you have pirate, pirate, privateer, buccaneer, and corsair. So what's interesting is the term privateer actually, no, Wendy's, what? I found a dry food. Do you do oysters on the grill? I did growing up. Oh, okay. We don't so much now because I'm not really big into oysters, so. I love, I'll eat oysters, oysters raw. I love them on the grill. Um, our main, our main, uh. Ribeye. Well. As far as seafood is concerned on the grill, it would be shrimp. Mm-hmm. And we mix that with bacon, because you can't go wrong yeah. with that shit. Shrimp and bacon. Not smoking bacon, shrimp and bacon. <laughs> Never had oysters. I love oysters. I love oysters. I love clams. I love all seafood. I love all seafood. Um, it's so yummy. I can't wait. Summer. Oh, we're gonna I like seafood, seafood, too. I'm just not a big fan of oysters yeah there's gonna be uh, plenty of good seafood down there yeah well we gotta remember marwood she's normally from california and has lived here in richmond since she's left california so yeah yeah she never had oysters she who uh snow cone yeah which i'm not totally I mean, surprised I've not never had them i just very rarely eat them i uh oyster rockefeller those are really good. Um, I definitely don't do them raw. I don't know. I do. Can't. I like my. I like them raw. 
Clams are good. Clam chowder. Uh, yeah, cl Las Vegas land. Clams I can deal with. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Uh, Las Vegas, I've seen a couple episodes of a show called Black Sails. It seems gritty and authentic, but I don't really know. Entertaining anyways. Actually, the music you're listening to. Yeah, and this it's is funny the you bring that this up. This is the theme song right now. Raw Roasted Fried is my favorite. Who? Oh, boys. Las Vegas. Well, Vegas, I said that. yeah. Um, no, that we is... We happen to be listening to the soundtrack for Black Sails So, right Black now. Sails is pretty... Yeah, the gritty. We like the gritty. We like... There's a lot of good facts in there, but obviously it's got to be entertaining, and they also want them to look pretty badass, so there is a departure, especially in the clothing. Like, what um, Vane is wearing in there is not what no. they would have worn back there. First of all, they're all wearing fucking boots. Okay, and a we've lot already of, been through this before. Yeah, pirates don't wear boots. Um, and the amount of leather. Yeah, get, they're filled with boobs. Granted, there now. There was leather around, but they yes. didn't wear leather pants Rod. or leather shirts or leather coats. waistcoats or leather frock coats. No, no. Did you? They may have worn a leather cap. You know, like the cap I was wearing, uh, was it week before last? A work cap? Yeah, they made we leather separate. work caps, things like that. Or the shoes were made of leather. Um, that was about it. Yeah, other than that, I mean, belts. The boobs were not made of leather. Well, they could have been with the, in the sun. The what? I'm just reading this at boobs, so I said boobs are not made of leather. <laughs> but though there is a lot of boobs, like... Uh, I don't know, Las Vegas, if you saw the episode where, uh, with... Yeah, Las Vegas, with, how uh, far along, how it, far along are you? He said a couple episodes, so if you watched... Oh, the, yeah, you're So still... if you watched the first couple episodes of season one, I bet he saw Blackbeard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you said that was in the second episode, right? I think it was in the second episode. Where he got to meet Blackbeard and all Blackbeard's ladies. Yeah. <laughs> But no, that's, uh, um, and also the other cool thing about Black Sails is they took historical and fantasy with Treasure Island. So Flint is from Treasure Island, Billy Bones is from Treasure Island, but you have Vane, Blackbeard, and Bonnie, uh, Calico Jack, all of them who are historically true and just kind of manipulated a little bit to work with the storyline that they had. And... Calico was really the quartermaster of Vane before Vane was basically mutinied against and kind of kicked off the ship and Calico became the captain back then. Yeah, it's uh, some Florida boobs are hilarious. Uh, never seen a show, but need to. Yeah, um, I have... Well, I'll tell you, we have season one and two, Snowco. Uh, I, th we have, I know we have season... We have season. all four seasons. We just haven't watched the last... Part of they're season four, uh, but they're all virtual. Yeah, I'm yeah, we saying. have them all on Vudu. So that's what I'm saying. I think we have one and two on DVDs. I can we can let her borrow. Yeah, that's definitely um, not something to be watching around, David. Yeah, no kid, no kids around when you're watching <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, that's what I liked about it, and I thought it was cool. The the dynamic, how they had Aunt Bonnie portrayed when like she's a Fucking badass in that movie. I love that. In that show, I love it. Uh, Calico, he's interesting. They did a good job with him. They did a good job casting in that one. And actually, mm -hmm. all the characters, all the actors in that um, show are English, except for Jessica Parker and uh, um, fuck. Whoever plays Charles Vane, I can't think of the name of him off my uh, off the top of my head. What's a DVD? <laughs> a Blu-ray. Blu Marwood, should I be talking about VHS for then with you? <laughs> yeah, Would you like you're one to talk, Marwood. Right, <laughs> fucking flip phone. Mister Flip Phone, can you watch Black Sales on your fucking flip phone? Must have been really loud for everybody too. We're just sorry, yelling at them and tormenting him. Who's got DVDs? Actually, I just packed the rest of the DVDs. Blue, up. Blu-rays, please. Not 
Well, we have blue. There's have a difference between a DVD and a Blu-ray. Laser disc. Holy shit. Yeah. JV Jr. My yeah, gra- my, my dad had those. My grandpa used to have one. The big yeah, discs, the they were the same size as the record. Oh, no, no, my dad, the, the guy my dad worked for. I remember the guy my dad worked for, they had like a wall. And it was, these are freaking the size of albums back yeah. then. So it was like a wall filled with these. I mean, they spent money my on My grandpa them. used they, to have They only stayed around for, what, a couple of years before they passed off into history? I don't remember exactly how long they were around, but... Slides? What about slides? Slides. Talk grandpa about had those, slides. too. My, my my grandpa was a photographer, so he had all that shit. He, he actually developed his own slides. He had a slide-developing machine in his basement. Yep. I still got all these. He could develop his own pictures, the whole nine yards. Blazer disc was short lived. I think it was like only a couple years, and then it was. I feel bad. They moved on pretty quickly to the CDs CDs. and and DVDs from there. But he had them, man. I remember. In fact, we were talking about uh, romancing the stone earlier. He had that movie on a laser disc. Did he? Yep. It's interesting that they, well, I guess it's because of the size of it, because we were, we had CDs at that time, because I remember listening to the Green Day, Dookie album, mm-hmm. and I remember seeing those discs, the laser discs, so it was around the same time, uh, but it's interesting that we were into the CDs, and then that's what they were doing for the laser discs, but I guess it was just the size of the data that had to be on it. Had to flip it over. Yeah. Yeah, I remember mm-hmm. that too. I also, yeah, I remember our or VHSs. You remember VHSs when the movie's so fucking long? You, it's a two, it's a two tape thing. Yep. Oh God! <laughs> so <laughs> there Those was. Were the days. It's funny. So there was a show we were watching recently. Um, it was being replayed on the B, I think, on a uh, Food Network, Cooking Channel. Um. History dining room table, history at the dining room table, or something like that. I don't remember the name of it, but what they did. Oh yeah, that show you were. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. really into. So what they did is they took this family who was willing and able, um, and they redid their whole kitchen, uh, dining room, front area, and all that. Basically, the downstairs of their house. Yeah, they gutted it and redid it in a decade for like seven weeks, and they started in the forties. And they gutted the 40s. Uh, when they got it, and they put everything in the 40s. So there's no fridge, no dishwasher, none of that. But why I go into that is watching the decades. And, like, they did the 80s. And they're talking about uh, A-Track and um, the radio and the TV. And it was, it was actually really cool uh, just to see the progression within a decade or two. And not so much just the food, although the food piece of it was very interesting as well. And how, you know, we talk about food nowadays being processed, but you go back and look at what, you know, there is no process. It's the, you see what, where we were at and where we're at now. It's okay. We have the convenience of TV dinners, quick fried foods, and all that. But what's it really doing to us? And you imagine like, back then, a lot of these people were small. You know, they ate what they were non-processed shit. And not now, it was, yeah. Did they ever put video on a track? Mm, not no, that I know. I think of. That was just strictly music, wasn't it? My butt, Brian. Blair, uh-huh. he his dad used to have a camper that he parked in his driveway, and my friend's dad had a camper that had an eight-track player in it. We used to journey thirty-eight special. Mm-hmm. Yep, all an eight-track. Mom had eight played in that camper for a while. Yep. Oh, uh, bed tapes were huge. My first car had an eight-track player in it. It was Careful. a You're yeah. Funny. Hey, <laughs> nineteen. What was it, a 77 Chevy Caprice? Like I said, you're aging yourself. Yep. You can stop anytime now. The awesome thing about that car is it looked, because they used to use them as police cars. And I'd freak my friends out. That's what you got with Fords yeah. nowadays. Yep. 
drive on them up on them at night in a caprice. They, yeah, you know, Marcus is no lights on. Eight track in my first Chevy truck. Yep, I had one of those converters where you stuck the thing in there and it, it had Tinker a cas- it had a cassette player that flipped up, and turned it into a cassette player. Snowcone says I still have a small pile of floppy disks I need to get rid of. I finally cleared off all my floppy disks several years ago. Marwood said 32. All right, we're guessing tank now. I guess we got to pause. Snowcone says 48. I'm going to go with 25. I'm going to go with 8 because that's what the tablet's at. <laughs> Damn, it went down that far already. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we might be needing to use your phone. We got 15 minutes. I know. We might be needing to use your phone for um, the last part of the co- text because, yeah. Snowcone got it. On the dot, too? 48%. Dang. She's been coming in with some battery lately. I was only 40 40 away, because I said 8. <laughs> I don't know, it was like 20. Uh, wow, that's pretty awesome. So we've had Marwood get it on the nose, Snowcone's got it on the nose. I, don't, I think those are the only two who've got it like dead nuts in the past. These nuts? These nuts! These nuts are dead nuts. I took a nap, that's why. <laughs> <sighs> I knew I could have used a nap earlier. You had a little break from TikTok, is that what's up? Yeah, Instagram, Reels, whatever the fuck it is you kids do nowadays. <laughs> crazy kids. Oh, this one, yeah. The battery is going quickly. It's at 7% now. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. We may have to cut the music off. Um, yeah, to be able to. Addicted to YouTube reaction videos. 60 AM Paul, that was AM, only got an FM set player for my 17th birthday. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, uh, I remember when you want to play the CD player, like my car didn't have a CD player, and I had to plug the cassette tape into it, and then plug the headphone jack into the CD player, and then have the CD player sit in that gay-ass space that was in the console for it to sit there while you were driving, yep. and hopefully it didn't lose it. Remember the cassette adapter for your port? That's what I just said! Marl. <laughs> I, yep. Exactly what I just said. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely had that. And I had the, um, uh, I had an issue with my radio or something. So I had the external ton of thing as well. I was all about it. And then, um, then I got a stereo upgrade. I had already typed it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do remember that. Shit, I wonder what they had on a uh, sloop back then. Was it an A-track or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, entertainment back then. I mean, you think at least now, that's what I was joking with them, is God, going back and to... forth to... Uh, uh, when I go back and forth to Suffolk, we have thumb drives in our cars for all the music, and I got like 768 songs now. I remember fucking... Uh, Making your own CDs, and then when MP3s worked on the CDs, loading a, a disc up with MP3s yeah. and playing that. you could get a couple hundred songs on a... Yeah, hit a bump in the, the CD, CD. skip. Disc charger, the, the disc changers are set up since installed in trunks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my mom had a 10, 10 disc changer. Put in my six-year-old in bed, and your arm... Are your arms long enough to, to slap box, slap box? You know, Eminem talks faster than a cheetah. Tank. Tank. What, you, Bell, what did you smoke before you came says, on? No, her six-year-old apparently. Uh. Are you? It says, are your arms long enough to slap box, slap box? You know, Eminem talks faster than a cheetah. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck did you give him? Says Snow Cone. Right. <laughs> Something like yeah, that. My favorite. Uh, CD player I had in one of my cars was a Kenwood that it was pretty pretty sweet. It actually the face of it actually flipped over. So when you shut the car off, the face flipped over and it was just a blank piece of plastic. So you couldn't Yeah, I remember there were on. you couldn't put a CD in or anything. You had to turn the car on. My and old the whole, whole face would flip back over. Yeah, and my old be the CD player. The stereo I had in the old Kia. Old Sportage, that was the one that popped off and on, that I was mm-hmm. able to take on and off. 
Yeah, this one, the whole face flipped over. I it had a sweet. super tuner. Yeah, mine. Yeah, uh, mine I was a big Pioneer open. fan. Oh yeah, mine. When it would open, it would come down like this for me to get the CD in and out of it, and now uh, you're able to take it off. And then I had a case for it was like eyeglass case that we stored it in, mm -hmm. stick it under your seat. So you would hope that no one would break into your car. <laughs> I had a super tuner. I don't remember super tuners. Super tuners were Pioneer. Oh. Yeah, I had I had a couple Pioneers. This one, the flip face one I had was a Kenwood. That one was pretty cool. That was my favorite stereo I ever had. My brother. It was one of the ones that had like the dolphin. It had it like a digital screen yeah, on it. it had the dolphins too, yeah. playing on it and stuff. Yeah, that was when you got me for mm -hmm. Christmas. I had that too. Uh, Tinkerbell's brother builds custom speaker boxes. Good. So. I was you, a big, big stereo guy. You made a, a speaker box for that thing. Yeah. To hide it at camp. I did. Yeah, we, we haven't really used it a whole lot, but no. Yeah, I, well, I kind of made it so we could hide the speakers during the speaker during the day, so we wouldn't have to put it away. But we kind of don't really touch it at all during the day. Speakers at all? No, like during a day, it's more running around and doing all this yeah. other bullshit. And we're, we're not really around our encampment too, too much. We're usually too busy for that kind of stuff. I had a friend that had two suitcases of cassettes stolen while his car was what? I had a case of CD. oh in the shop getting repaired. I had a case Ooh. of CD stolen from me when I it, uh, when I was in the Navy. He said, uh, Marvin said I could set Super Tuner and 8-Track 1-2. I still have the 8-Track Super Tuner. Jesus. Marwood. Damn, dude. Really? Come back to us, man. All I'm thinking is that before we go down, I guess we're going to be in the truck, so I don't have to worry about updating my music for Although you can probably make a fortune selling those things. Oh, there's probably somebody a couple out there. things. It's like the original Game Boy, the 1986 yeah. Game Boy, which I have. I have the original Game Boy. See? I also have Game Boy Color. See, and Marwood, I have, you're not the only one. And I have uh, the Sega Game Gear. Uh, those were the things. Those were I wasn't allowed to have TV systems and uh, all the game systems for the TV. I was allowed to have the handheld games. But I was only allowed to play them when we were traveling. It was like, what's this fucked up shit? Uh, I gave Robert your game. Oh, did you really? I know where you can buy cassettes for 25 cents. Classic Man. Marwood says Classic Man. Very classic. We would also call that old timer, but we'll stick with classic. Uh, we'll stick with classic. We'll stick with classic. Fucking A Trek still makes me angry. What? Why? Why is because it's gone? I had Nintendo. We weren't allowed to play it at all. Yeah. Uh, well, then hey, you got all that. Sh my first video game system was a ColecoVision. I wasn't. I didn't get the shit that the, everybody else had. See, everybody else had the Atari 5200 and, you know, the cool, you know, the Nintendo. My dad said it would ruin the TV. That's why they didn't play yeah, the Nintendo. Not me. I had I had the ColecoVision. So, yeah. Which, you, you know, the games weren't as popular. You couldn't... Shit was way more expensive. So I had, like, three games for it. And I bet you were, like, expert on all of them. Yeah, kind of. Pretty much. It's like I had Legend of Zelda on my Game Boy, and I, I suck at it. I remember the game Venture. Just Venture. V -N yeah, I had that game. <gasps> there it went. There it went. All right, guys, hold on a second. We're going to... I, I lost Come back it. to you in here. Um, kind of uh, forgot to charge everything up before we came on tonight. <laughs> Thankfully, my phone was charged before we got into the. Give me CSGO. a second. We're gonna come back to you in the comments. Yeah, well, obviously. So, Bonnie's frog legging it now. We've been put the gate up, so both dogs are out here. Uh, there you go. And we're back. Game Gear. So we're going to lose the music, but we got uh, the comments back. Yeah. Fucking slackers. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Oh, I got to catch up. Come on. Uh, my dad said we were in TV. Commodore 64 here. 
It was Marwood. Oh, God. I wasn't allowed to play video games or watch The Simpsons growing up, says Snowcone. Tinkerbell, my dad would buy us stuff and not let us use it all the time. What? Yeah, back in the day when, you know, kids had discipline and you couldn't just, you know, use your phone or your tablet 24-7. Wait a minute. So Tank says, once he got me and my brother a blow dart gun, but wouldn't give us a dart, so we took turns shooting thumbtacks at each other. Yes. Marwa, you yes. can't take that sucks. I think that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it sucks and it's awesome all at the same time, because mm. you came up with another way lawn to Lawn darts. That's their version of lawn oh, darts. Oh, fuck yeah. Lawn darts were the shit, man. We used to take those things and throw them up in the air as high as you could and just see where they'd land. <laughs> Like, they would chuck them 50 feet in the air, and they'd just come down. Sorry, I keep pointing my mic. Sticking in the ground. That's just fucking insane. Yes, still have lawn darts, right? Shit, lawn darts. Stick them in the side of trees. You chuck them as hard as you could, and they'd actually stick in a little, tree. They're little freaking uh, death traps is what they are now. More ice peas? It keeps sticking. So... Um, but yeah, it's next week, uh, we are, it will be, it'll be yep. kind of hybrid, interesting. Um, I don't know if we'll be in kit or not, depending on where we're at for... Yeah, it's going to depend on what's going on at the time, the live stream. They are banned. Lawn darts are banned. Yeah. They're they, totally they banned, banned. They banned lawn darts a long time like ago. Like in the 90s, I think. Yeah. Yeah, those, those fuckers are completely banned. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't even make power wheels with power anymore. Scared of lawsuits from kids getting hurt. Like, with power? What do you mean? I think like, she means, like, like with actual t- like, speed. Yeah. Like, three-wheelers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they're, like, super slow now. Yeah. Until you get those people, they go, like, a mile an hour. Or you get those people that are into electronics and like double up with the batteries that's what i was gonna say i've seen that too uh they should have banned skip it oh my god i had one of those so my again brian brian's dad uh, was a electrical electronics genius he used to he made uh, a super fast charger for um or rc cars don't mess up like the hobby RC cars that you get the hobby stores mm-hmm. that fucking went like 40 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. He made a like a charger that would charge the batteries in like five minutes. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Ruthless children. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I love my skip it. I used to hate our the driveway where I was growing up was really rough and used to scratch shit out of it. So I'd go play in the middle of the road with it. Skip it. Yeah, it was that thing you had on your ankle and oh, like hopscotch when yeah, you were doing it, and, and it would have the counter on it, and you had to keep it. Yeah, I mm-hmm. rocked at that. <laughs> Better than freaking hula hoop. I sucked at hula hoop. Oh, the Clackers. Bo- those bouncy balls, like. Oh ring. God! The, I... It was just a ball with a ring on it. Oh, it those when you sit on <laughs> those yeah. two. Oh my God. <laughs> how about the or one the, how about the one that platform where you had a, you stand on it and had the ball and you had to keep it between your feet and you bounced that mm-hmm. thing was stupid oh yeah i hated that thing i could never figure that fucking thing my out. aunt had one that had a it was just a it was wood and it had a wheel and you rocked back and forth on it yes i remember that too i was really good at that thing that and a pogo stick she had a really nice pogo stick like, yeah like Super nice one. Sit on it, Man, rotate. I, I, I rocked on a pogo stick. The sit and spins. Oh my god! <laughs> sit and spin. Remember that? Uh, the two concrete balls that, when you slam them together, they threw sparks. <laughs> or the black powder power cap guns you'd hit with a hammer or a rock. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep, they had the red strips of caps. Yeah. That went into them. You know, like and when we just take a hammer, and bam, 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 bam. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kids nowadays will never or know. Or you fold them up and make one big tall one and go, bow. <laughs> kids nowadays will never know. Kids. Yeah. They will never know what kind of toys. Kids that turned into pirates. So there was, well, it really wasn't toys, but games. Um, there's. Dice were big, 
cards, but the problem was is that gambling on a ship, most of the time the pirate code, it was not it forbidden. Was, it was usually. forbidden. Yeah. Um, but they would gamble. Obviously, if they're not a ship where it was allowed, they would gamble, play dice games. There's a game called Shut the Box. I don't know if it's actually um, from that time frame or maybe a little bit later, 18th century. Shut the Box is, um, there. it looks like dominoes, and it goes from 1 to 10, and it sits on a pole, and you um, think of, guess who, with the faces where they're up and then down. So you roll the dice, and whatever number combination... So say it's 10, and uh, out of that 10, I can pick a 6 and a 4, so I would drop the 6 and the 4, and you would keep rolling and dropping the numbers out of the number combination you rolled until you can't go anymore, and that's you add that up, and that's your total. So that's what's called shut the box. Um, they need to make an adult size sit and spin. Are you fucking kidding me? We're all going to get sick and die. <laughs> Uh, my dad called the perfect me perfect hangover game. Right, my dad called me dizzy Lizzy because I'd spin myself sick on them things. Uh, I flipped them. Dominoes? I don't know. Dominoes probably. Dominoes was huge down in the Caribbean, so that might be something. I just don't know when it was created, so that I might have to research that. JP Junior. No, that's kind of probably be a little bit more than that. Uh, they do. It's called these nuts. These nuts, dominoes. Talking about uh, sit and spin. The adult <laughs> size sit and spin. Yeah. They do think it's an office chair and a leaf blower. I remember that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Marwood said that. <laughs> That's or a, true. Or a, a creeper and a leaf blower. Or what is it? The what else? Oh, no, a creeper and a, a, a grinder. You lay down on the creeper. And you hold the grinder out in front of you and kick the grinder on and spin around in a fucking circle. Yeah. What? You know the creepers that go up underneath cars? Yeah, that no, you're I know, I yeah. know, oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. What the fuck pot are you on or <laughs> drugs and. Well, that's it. There's mechanics that do that God. shit. God. Yeah. The motherfuckers are crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, watch that motherfucker go flipping into. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. You can get going pretty fucking fast, too. And on that note, there it is. I don't think they did it's anything. You can't, your your phone's right here. I saw yeah, you look over there. The uh, that's why women women live longer. Yes, uh, pallet jacks are fun scooters. Oh my god. Okay, mm -hmm. talk about scooters. Remember in gym class where you would sit on the um, those scooters, like be on the ground. You have to uh, crab walk with your legs. How many mm -hmm. fucking times you ran over your fingers? Oh, How God. many times did you run over your goddamn fingers? Or try to run over the fingers in the Ow. hand of the person you didn't like? Oh, I and they had those little metal wheels on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, crush you. I tried to run over the people I didn't like. <laughs> I was passive aggressive in school. If I didn't like you, I tried to run They'd you over. Crush your will to live. I hated that. I know that was uh, painful. The metal. Tooth bicycle pedals in the shin when your your foot slips. Or how about getting your pants caught in your sprocket? On oh your bike? my god! <laughs> um, I was a I was into BMX, so I rode a bike like all the time, everywhere I went. Tinkerbell said she when twenty four seven when McDonald's had playgrounds. I steal the trays that go down the slide. They send you flying. Yeah, magic kids nowadays with this. We can't even. Yeah. My parents, my mom used to get so mad at me when I got my pants caught, my jeans caught in the freaking sprite. Yeah, because yeah, it shredded the whole yep. bottom of your pants. Yeah, that's why I remember <laughs> rolling them up, all that. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Fuck yeah. Or your hand in the front wheel. Yeah. Oh, somebody would ride by and you'd take a mop handle and yeah. stick it in their spokes. <laughs> All right. I, had, I had mag wheels on my bike, so that was real easy to do. The, I'm, I'm sure we can go on all night talking yeah. about this crap yep. because it's just ridiculous. Uh, I will look into Remember the 80s. <laughs> uh, Las Vegas, it's actually something I did want to do some more research and I want to look at more of the games. And then maybe one night we'll actually go through some of the games. Yeah. And show you how it works. We, all, we game. came close to getting one when we were in uh, Williamsburg. But I told you you can make right. that. I want you to make that game. Shut the box. Yeah. I'd love you to make that for me. Okay. If you'd stop burning all that wood, you'd probably use what you had in there. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Kids Plus. these days are too scared and cautious. They don't know how fun. <laughs> right over the top of me. Right?
Or your, you know, he's, he means your hand in the front wheel adjusting the brakes. Yeah, I've had that happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where you pinch your fingers and yep. then get Or hit in a mailbox up. at speed. Cribbage. Yeah, I'll have to look. Uh, Las Vegas. I, I gotta do some research. And it would be good for us to know when we get into the season, Or your brake's too. just not working. Yeah, that fucking... My brake's just oh, didn't work. I remember when I got the new bike and I wasn't told that the brakes were only handlebar brakes. Mm. And I didn't understand how the... Oh, you can, and... Yeah, it's yeah, these brakes, not the, instead of not the back. Pedals. Yeah. yeah. So, short story... Um, my dad thought it'd be a genius idea of when I was, God, I had to be like six. I was young. He got me a 10 speed bike. Mm, like big, big mistake. Oh yeah. When you're that young. Big, yeah. I barely could touch the ground. Um, and I didn't understand where the brakes were at. And our neighbors had just seeded their grass. Oh, I should have asked Bernie if you remember this when I saw him. Um, they just seeded the grass, so they had rope around the whole yard to keep us from going into the yard. Yeah, well, I kind of clotheslined myself. And I had a nice rope. I had a nice mark across my neck, um, mm. slammed my head in the ground. Yeah, it, it was awful. Ow. Yeah, that was great. My well, brother rode, <laughs> my brother rode his bike into our front door, and he went face face first. His entire bike fell apart, but the door didn't bust. <laughs> Smoke of bacon, uh, gooseneck coming loose in the middle of a jump, then oh, yeah. land, landing with floppy handlebars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it, like, whoa. There was nothing better than stripping your handlebars. Yep. Yep. Had that BMX, riding BMX. We used to strip our handlebars all the time. You know what you used to fix that from? A piece of sandpaper. You roll up I a crush, piece of sandpaper and put, put it, it in, in there, there and slide your handlebars back in. I crashed in the place. street once, almost got ran over by a school bus. Oh my God. <laughs> Again, on that note, I think All right, we, kids. we could definitely continue We're, this yeah. story next week. So, uh, <laughs> we gotta so go. next week we will be on the road, but we will be here. Can't promise we'll be here for the full hour, but come and join us. Um, we will be recording. I do, I'm not going to say we're going to live stream while we're in St. Augustine. So every time I think we're going to do that, we get completely distracted. And honestly, this is going to be a huge opportunity for Ballas and I. Uh, pretty much the whole pirate community is going to be there. And obviously, I got an opportunity to yeah. make 55 of these and put them on bodies down there. So we will if see. If we can, we will. He welded but it. we make no smart. promises. Very smart. Marwood, he said ring bell. Ring bell. Ring the bell. Jay Hernandez lives in St. Augustine. If uh, if we can live stream, we will, but we make no promises. Mm -hmm. We're going to be really busy. and We're going to be excited, but we will, we're going to record, so we'll it get will some be cool. footage. We'll be able to share pictures. Obviously, we should have a fucking picture, so don't, don't worry about that. But anyway, until next time. Hi, doggy. Move, doggy. You know what the phrase is? Yes. Till next what week, my, my buddies. Hashtag drink, drink more, more rum. rum.